you've got a relationship problem, let the Ben Davis and Kelly K show screw it up. <laughs> this is free therapy. Uh, good morning, Kim. Morning. Okay, so walk us through the message you sent us. All right. Um, well, I mean, basically, my boss bought me a, I would say, questionable Valentine's Day present. And oh. my husband, yeah, my husband insists that I kind of return it in protest. Okay, so so what what your boss get you? Um, well, he got me this giant box of chocolates and a hundred dollar gift card to Victoria's Secret. Whoa! Wow. Yeah, that's not a typical employee gift. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what he said too, and he, he just thinks it's completely inappropriate, and you know, just kind of he insists that I need to return it in order to send the right message. I, what, are you on board with that? Honestly, I think it's a little much. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, he did point out that no other employee got more than a card and a small box of chocolate, but uh-huh. none of them are his personal assistant either. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay. Okay. Did you say what kind of chocolate? Oh, God. It's um like Godiva. Oh, it's a good stuff. Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Listen, here's a here's a solution. You can give me the Godiva oh, chocolates. Right. I'll take that burden right. off your shoulders. You're a woman, Kelly. You're a woman. Victor- I am. Victoria's, Last time I checked, Victoria's Secret is expensive, it's pricey stuff, right? It is, and it's nice. And I know, again, my husband would appreciate it. So I will volunteer to take that off your hands as well. <laughs> Listen, I'm just here to help. Okay. Well, I- maybe I could throw it that way. Maybe I could be like, he was thinking of you when he gave me this. <laughs> That is nice for us. Right. Right. But still a little on the creep side. I, I do I do see the creep factor in that, especially if I, and I'm assuming nothing inappropriate has happened at the office. Right. Your your exactly. relation Oh, okay. Yes. Of course. Yeah, no, and that's part of it. Like I, I of course. Get, I understand where my husband's coming from, but at the same time it's like it's not like a consistent thing that I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So maybe he just kind of feels like because of the nature of your working relationship, you're a little bit closer than right. normal. You're not like cubicle mate. So he feels like you're in that special comfort zone. Like when I used to get you underwear all the time, Ben. Oh, yeah. When there was a long stretch of many years, I got you like weird boxer shorts for that, years. That is true, Kim. But, yeah. You know, but, we don't really look into that. Okay. As much. But I would not, <laughs> I would not, she would not request me to model said no. underwear for right. her. No. You have over your jeans well, before. Well, I, I have, but. <laughs> All right. Well, Kim, we're getting a lot of people texting in about how maybe you should approach this and maybe how you should, with your boss and your husband. So. Yeah. Yeah. There are, they, yeah, there are two different sides that you have to uh, pay attention to with this. So, yeah. Thank right. you. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll try to help you. Uh, move forward with this. Well, and again, if you choose to, the address is 520 South 4th Street. If you'd like to send those things to my attention. <laughs> I think about it. All right. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. All right. See ya. Officer Russ chimes in. Yeah? Of course he does. Officer of the law right here. Way to go, girl. You got game. <laughs> okay, so there you have it from the LMPD. High five. Dan just texts in and says, this is juicy, and I love it. All right, so Alrighty. text Ka- message. Kathy says, OMG, I'm an HR director. No, 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 no. What the heck? He All needs right. some training. Uh, 502-571-9970 is free therapy. <laughs>
Well, okay then. Thank you. And that is why we have free therapy. <laughs> Thank you for moving us forward with that, Ailey. <laughs> Appreciate that. He calls our show all the time. Uh, Andrew, the love doctor. Good morning. What do you think? Huge red flag here, my man. Huge red flag. Keep the chocolates. That's fine. He's got a personal relationship with him. He's she's his personal secretary. I get that. A little bit larger box. The gift card's got to go back. She's got to tell him, thanks, I appreciate it, but I don't feel like it's appropriate for the workplace for you to be giving me a gift of this nature. Because what's going to happen, if push comes to shove, two things are happening. If it goes to HR, HR is going to ask her, did you tell him? Second thing is, he's throwing a little bit of bait in the water to see if she bites. By keeping the gift card, then the next thing is, well, what did you buy with it? Yeah. Oh. You know, any pictures? Yeah. He's, yep. testing, He's testing, testing the waters. The water. Okay. That's exactly right. Okay. Absolutely. Always sage advice from Andrew, the love doctor. Thank you, sir. You're the That's, expert. You got it, guys. Keep on loving. All right. Thank you, buddy. Uh, text messages. Um, <laughs> quoting Billie Eilish, he's the bad guy from Ernie. Okay, yep. I got you. Got it. So, yeah, you know, and a lot of people are like, hey, my partner would blow a gasket if my boss gave me a, quote, gift like that. I think I think it's, it's clear that, you know, maybe the husband isn't quite off base by saying that that's an inappropriate gift. But, you know, again, I go back to Victoria's Secret. It's expensive. My husband would be like, high five, go shopping. <laughs> And give me some of that chocolate. Yeah, there is a lot of backstory yeah. that was left out of that. Though. Sure. But anyways, if you want to continue commenting, it's up on, you got it on Facebook? Yeah. All right, it's up on Facebook. You can comment there at Ben and Kelly Show.